What is up guys, AshBFC here, welcome back to Hitman Blood Money, and we're on the ninth mission, Till Death Do Us Part. Letter for Mr. Julio. Thanks. Hmm. Code red. You forgot your tip. That's all right. I insist. On the table by the bathroom. Alright, so we're at a wedding this time around, and very appropriately named to Death Do's Park, because we are actually going to be killing the groom, as well as the father of the bride. Look at that, warning, trespassers will be shot. Survivors will be shot again, what game's that from? You can also see the priest there arriving. Alright, well, if we go around here, we just <laughs> see this guy spewing his guts. Yeah, he's had too much to drink. There always seems to be some pissed up nutter in every mission, doesn't they? Anyway, he's gonna hobble off over into this building here. He's had too much. There's always one, isn't there? Just can't handle the booze. There's always one. Right, so we'll just go in here. I'm just gonna wait for him. He's just gonna wander in. He's gonna sit down and pass out. I'll take the opportunity to get his claws. I'll take his gun as well, and his party invitation. Okay, there we go, he's out. Take his claws. His six-shooter. And his party invitation. Right, we're good to go. Now we can get into the house. Oh, look, we got a bit of dancing going on over here, let's join in. I've been married a long time ago. Where'd you come from? Where'd you go? Where'd you come from? Cotton Eye Joe. Oh. Uh. Oh. Oh. Hmm. Okay. This is a little bit awkward. I'm just gonna walk away here. Eesh. Eesh. What's that problem? Jesus. Anyway. <laughs> let's go into the house. Oh. Everyone seems to have shotguns. So I want to piss these guys off. Oh. Right here actually. We've got the um... The bride, you can have a chat with her if you want. Congratulations. I don't believe I've had the pleasure of an introduction. Jacob Leiter. I'm a friend of your father's. Jacob Leiter. Well, now that does ring a bell. I'm afraid Daddy ain't feeling himself just now. I believe he's up in his room, but the crazy old coot won't let guests on to the second floor. I do so hope he'll come around before the ceremony. Maybe y'all can catch a man. I'll look forward to that, ma'am. See y'all later. Damn. Right, now, what I'm gonna do is... Sneak in here without being seen. Easier said than done. Ooh, is there a guy there? Nope, oh, quick, okay. Right, I'm gonna go in here, where the priest is. And I'm gonna take him out. Okay. Get out sedative. Boom. Yeah, now, put him to sleep stops the actual ceremony from happening. I think he comes in this room like, twice, maybe three times before the bell rings and the ceremony starts. So you want to, uh, you know, seize the opportunity before that happens. Alright, let's take his claws. He's also got a boat key you can take, that's obviously enough for the boat that you arrived at, you can escape in that, but obviously you, you need to wear the priest's outfit to do that. Of course I'll leave in my suit, as usual. Alright, I'm just going to drag him into this closet. A dress like this as well gives me access to most areas. Alright, and you get, it's kind of a pain getting him in there. Making sure the, the door's closed as well, so you ain't got a leg sticking out or something. Hey, right, close that. No, nope, it's not doing it. Damn it. 
There we go. Right, you can also take his Bible as well, Hollow Bible. And you get an option to place a mine in there, that's another way to make a kill. It's not the option I use, but... Right, now I'm going to take care of the groom. Now, in here in the kitchen we've got this wedding cake. What you can do is you can poison that cake, because the groom regularly comes in here and has a bit of cake. You obviously you can kill him that way, but it's not an accident, and they'll find his body, so no silent assassin. But the other way you can get him, which is the way I always do it, is he likes to go and have a little play on the piano every now and then. And right above that, we've got a light. Big chandelier. Yeah, you know what's going to happen there. going to bring that crashing down on him. So to do that, I want to head up to the uh, the attic. So go all the way up. Right, now... Yeah, okay, because I'm unprofessional, it's not showing it, but I think if you're on any other difficulty, uh, there'd be three uh, flashing exclamation marks, like points of interest, um, showing you where you can plant the, the bomb, but you want to plant it on the one at the, the top left, which is over here, actually. Where is it? It's so freaking dark, I can't see it. There it is. Okay, place bomb. There we go. Now we go back down, and just wait for the groom... To start having a little do on the piano. How do, Padre? Thankfully, no one seems to have noticed that the priest has completely lost all of his hair and his face has changed completely. So, thank God for that. Now we wait. Okay, here he comes. Let's wait for him to get around underneath it. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, there we go, got him. Right, now it's just time for the um, father of the bride. And there he is, actually. I was a little bit late there. What he does is he goes into the house and up to his room. He watches TV. I think you can get him there. Like you can wire him in his chair or something like that. But he, he has got guards around him. I honestly can't remember. It's been a while since I've done it that way. But he does then come down here with this bucket of chicken and likes to feed the alligators or the crocodiles or whatever the hell's in there. And you can push him over into the alligators and <laughs> they'll eat him. It's kind of funny. You'll see him like they'll rag him around and stuff. But it's kind of hard because these guards there. You can very easily get caught, but. He will eventually walk up here and then stand right in front of this open grave. You just shove him straight in, which is exactly what I'm going to do. The only problem is, I've got a hell of a long wait on my hands for him to get back here. Which, thankfully for you, I'll edit it, but I've got to sit here and wait, God damn it! Alright, here he comes. Finally! God, I feel like I've been sat here for a lifetime. Right, okay. Sneak up there. And in he goes. <laughs> right, there we go, that's done. Now we just got to make the escape. Let's just go back and get my suit off that uh, guy that passed out. Oh god, not again. Come on! There we go, there's my suit. And now we'll just go back to the uh, the boat that we arrived on. And there we go. Yep, two accidents. Awesome. Alright. So there we go. Alright, well, next time we're off to Las Vegas, and we certainly ain't going there to gamble or to get married. So thanks for watching, guys. I shall see you next time.